What is up, guys? Today we're gonna actually do something a little bit different. Turn the fan down. Uh, today, we're gonna check out the miles per gallon on my Mustang. So keep in mind, I have a 331 um, gears. So the options for the manual car are the 331 gears, the 355 and the 373. So I have the 331, therefore, and, and on the freeway or highway, my uh, my revolutions will be lower. So I should be getting the best gas mileage out of all the Mustangs, other than maybe the automatic. So I'm gonna, you know, do like a kind of a, like a fast forward through the trip, different times, and I'm gonna display, you know, the gas mileage I'm getting uh, on a highway trip. So I'm going all the way to Chicago again. Uh, so now we're gonna go to the gas station, get some gas, and uh, you know, see what's up. So let's get down to it. Oh, all right, wait. I meant I meant to turn on the car. Damn it. Okay, clutch. That's I can always forget that. There we are. Alright, so time to deal. Alright, let's talk about the staying a little bit. So why did I pick the 331 gears? You know, we're talking about gas mileage, but that's actually not the reason why. Um, I heard that uh, before I actually bought the car, I did a little bit of research and uh, you know, I was planning on maybe boosting the car later on. So maybe I was looking at supercharging it, uh, like a, you know, um, doing a twin scroll on it. And I heard that uh, once you're running high horsepower, seven, 800 horsepower, you want the 331 gears. Uh, so, you know, I decided to buy this car so I could be flexible and go either way. I've heard a lot of people have no problems with the other gears, but that's, uh, you know, it's too late for that. But uh, I see, my, I love my gears in this car. I mean, the fact that this car has a 331 gears, I, you know, I love that. It, it drives very really well. My uh, my friend Matt, he is also on the channel, and you know, you guys have seen him on different occasions. He actually has a 355, and uh, you know, he said he actually does like mine. Um, I don't know if he likes it better, but he said he actually likes it a lot. So maybe in different instances he likes mine, and different, you know, different times he likes his. So whatever, but. I love the 331 gears as a daily driver, especially. You're not doing too much shifting. Oh, 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 got the light on time. So yeah, you're not doing too much shifting. So it's actually pretty nice. Um, yeah. So uh, on the freeway, RPM stay very low. But uh, you know, one negative thing I found is that at some point uh, when I'm driving with the MBRP cap back, I have the race cap back. At some point in the RPM range, it's, I think, and, and it somehow, you know, it's kind of has to do with the gears too, because because of the gear I am at the lower RPM range on the freeway, is that if I'm in the freeway and I floor the car, not floor, but if I keep the same gear and I start accelerating at a certain, uh, like probably around uh, 2100 or 2200 RPMs, it starts droning really bad. I mean, I mean, it'll hurt your ears however it's pretty easy to get over it by just downshifting a fifth instead of you know accelerating really slowly in sixth gear so I mean the best thing I just you know downshift and go and there's no drone or if I'm by myself I really don't care I might just accelerate hear the drone I mean you get used to it a lot it's not that bad uh, but uh, you know at cruising speeds once if you're not accelerating there's no drone at all no matter where even if you're in that rpm range if you're not giving it gas it's not really droning so you know, but again, back to the miles per gallon. Last time I went to Chicago, uh, I got 20, around to, close to 28, 27 point something, 28 miles per gallon uh, in this car. But, you know, uh, I kind of want to do this video so you guys could see, you know, like firsthand what the, what the miles per gallon are, you know, and in real conditions, real driving, real world. I'm not going to hold back. I'm going to drive exactly like I drive every day. And I believe this is how most Mustang drivers do drive is, you know, at least the ones that don't crash, but the ones that don't crash like me and knock on wood, but there's no wood in here. But, uh, you know, what, what about me? One of you guys do that for me. Um, you know, on a daily driver, like it is for me, I'm just going to drive it regularly. And, uh, you know, I'm going to get on the freeway and see what, uh, kind of gas mileage I get over there. So 
on a day-to-day -day basis, I actually get around 19, 20, depending on how good I feel. If I drive very, if I actually think about it and I'm a little conservative, I'll get 21, 22. But I really don't care. I just like to hear my exhaust, you know. And it's what it's at the end of the month, a couple dollars, you know, difference or something. Not a big deal. So uh, let's go get some gas and uh, get going to Chicago. Well, we get gas. Basically, what I've been noticing is that my tires, this thing's loud. I've been noticing that uh, these tires, the nittles I got for the car, are not performing like I thought they would in the wet. Um, I'm pretty sure my all scenes might have been better. I don't know. This is a, kind of the first, really, first water we've had in a little while. And, uh, you know, I've been kind of giving it a little bit more gas. And, um, you know, I think these might actually be worse than my all season. 235 Pirelli P zeros. So I don't know. We'll see. Uh, these are summer tires, but um, when I was looking at the ratings, it was saying that these should have been actually rated. They were rated rated pretty good for wet. And I don't know. Maybe that's on uh, the parameters of uh, of uh, the parameters were like uh, you know not uh, pertaining to all tires, but just maybe they're pretty good for summer tires in the rain. So I don't know. Uh, we're gonna have to see so over this trip. I might I might see well how these tires perform and and kind of talk about it later But um, I have a feeling that They're not gonna do too well because I'm losing traction like like it's like nothing. It's so easy So I don't know well, um, I'm gonna mount you guys up there and uh, we're gonna see what kind of mileage we get so in the meantime Let's reset it so trip see i'm getting 18 because i've been driving like like total ass so let's reset that back to zero and we're gonna see what kind of gas mileage we're gonna get in this trip guys I thought I thought I'd just take the moment to explain this drone situation so right now I'm in sixth gear and I'm not giving a gas and there's no drone just a lot of road noise because of the you know new wheels and tires I mean at least I think there's a lot of road noise but here if I start giving a gas in sixth it gets louder and then if I don't give a gas it's nothing but you know a lot of my friends say that's just the exhaust dude it, you know it's making noise but again I mean it gets pretty loud at one point I mean, I don't know. What do you guys think? You guys think that's bad or what? what's up? I mean, should I get a Corsa Extreme or something? <laughs> I mean, this exhaust was a great deal. I paid on, I paid right around $5.25 after all the discounts I got for uh, the race cap back in stainless steel with uh, the black coating. Um, so I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm going to probably do a review on it, but it seems pretty loud. Same. So yeah, um, so we're about... Uh, half an hour into the trip and I, so yeah i've been getting 23.9 so far we're half an hour into the trip and uh i mean oh 24 24 right now it's going up well basically half the trip was city uh now we're getting on the highway so uh it's a good it's a good uh, you can kind of gauge from this trip that i'm going to do is what kind of gas mileage are you going to get on a long distance trip so you know getting on the freeway from your home if you don't live too close to the freeway and the whole drive so you can hear that drone in the background and uh, yeah I do have a feeling that these wheels are, are actually these tires I mean are not as good as my Pirelli P0's uh, all seasons in the rain and that makes a lot of sense because of the grooves these are all these are summer tires but uh, I was actually hoping for them to be at least maybe equivalent because these are I don't know that's supposedly designed and they were getting a good rating for water you know or driving in rain so but uh, we'll see uh, by the end of the trip we'll see how that goes too uh, and um, see the kind of gas mileage I'm gonna get and everything so uh, let's uh, let's get going all right so 
so another update 26.6 26.7 miles per gallon and six again so it's going back and forth from five six seven depending on if there's hills or whatnot i have it on cruise control just because i was actually getting worse gas mileage because of um i was feathering it a little bit and i just figured instead of you know because my i don't know how to explain this but my shoes are really cheap so it literally hurt my foot to have it in one position so i'd keep moving my foot around and it, it would feather the accelerator and then i'd get like weird gas mileage so i just figured i'd put it on cruise control so i can get some more you know and also realistic most people drive on cruise control on long distance trips uh so 26.7 right now with the uh it's kind of weird i was getting better gas mileage with the smaller wheels and i can understand that because these are heavier so more rotating mass these are wider too i mean they're just it's just more mass i mean i think i added on like 40 pounds adding these wheels on i mean the traction difference day and night but you know when it comes to weight they are heavier because they're a lot bigger but uh i think they're definitely worth it and handling in the rain i don't know it's gotten a lot better maybe because i'm just going in straight line but we'll see once i get closer to chicago and i start driving more in the city and you know city driving and see if i keep slipping when i turn i don't know but uh so 26.6 right now i'm pretty sure this is gonna be the ongoing average maybe 26.7 so let's see where we get with this trip so i actually was about to go up in gas mileage and we hit traffic on the freeway on a friday night but again you know it is fourth of july weekend and i'm going to chicago so i'm guessing that a lot of people are going over there so um that's why there's traffic um but gives us a realistic approach to the matter what going into fifth gear Ooh, fifth gear oh you guys oh, oh. Fifth, don't make me don't make me go into four okay fifth let's keep the fifth oh my god dude my gas mileage is actually going up 26.9 and car on the side of the road you gotta accelerate so i'm just driving regularly as i would and the drone kicks in that RPM range, I'm telling you. All right, and we're going again. All right, guys, at this moment in time, I got 27 miles per gallon. Yeah, it's because uh, we've been going slower. So, you know, if I'm constantly over 70, I'm looking at like 26.7, 0.8, and 0.9. And then if I go under 70 or at 70 or 72, you know, maybe slightly above, but, you know, around, like right around 70 mark, 65 then it's going up to 27 miles per gallon so depending on you know how your speed limits are where you live you're going to get better or worse gas mileage depending on what how fast everybody around you is driving you know how traffic is, is going but uh it looks like i hit 27 so that's pretty exciting so again again in really really bad traffic on the freeway stop and go first gear the whole time Gas mileage dropped by 0.3. Been driving for almost two hours and 112 miles. So my ETA or my ETA is in three and a half hours and I have 226 miles to go. Around, around two hours to go, I might stop and grab some food and then we're gonna go back on the road. And lose traction like nothing when I do that. But I figure I that happened. Man, I'm tired. Figure that would happen um, either way. But um, we're gonna need ourselves a coffee soon. Oh yeah, get some coffee, some espresso, you know, something good. Hopefully, I see some sign that interests me. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. All right, so after the traffic, we're at 26.3 MPG. So what happened is there was a car that um, lost traction apparently and hit the rails on the side. So um, an accident. But uh, you know, that's the real world. So real world, real world testing here. You know, we're not, it's not a controlled environment. It's really the true mileage you will get on a 2016 Mustang GT Premium with 331 gears on aftermarket wheels. Keep that in mind. Um, it, it might be a little slight, very little 
the other wheels constantly. Um, and then I, I ended up the trip at 27. And with these, it looks like I'm under 27. So it's, it's a very slight difference. So 26.3 right now, let's see where we get. Maybe it'll go back up. Um, traffic really hit it hard. So see how that goes and uh, keep, keep uh, recording my results. All right, guys, we are back. So I've actually left the car on for a little bit while we're not moving. Had some food, had a burger, and we're gonna head back on the road. So I'm gonna figure this GPS out and we are going to go. Okay, alrighty, time to leave. See what kind of gas mileage we're getting. Gotta get the gas mileage, and uh, we are going, uh, and we are traveling. Uh, just gotta figure out how to get out of this old parking lot here, and then we gonna go down uh, to Chicago. No turn right over here. Uh, no, I'm from out of town. Let's see. Keep left. We're going toward Chicago. For show. Sure. I don't even know where I am. I lost all sense of direction. I'm facing north. Oh, that makes sense now while we're turning left. Gotta go west. Alright, 26.2, and let's see how this goes, guys. Straight through muffler, long tube header. 
YouTubes yet, but I want them really bad. Make more noise than tonight. Gas mileage is still at 27.1. I'm kind of surprised. So we're gonna hit this tunnel pretty good. Woo! I think I think the tunnels are over. Yeah, now it's just sad, sad old street again. People trying to get in your way. Oh man. Let's see if I can just kind of there you go. Maybe that's a little better, I don't know. Oh, I went under 27. Oh. It's okay. I was at 27.2 at one point. So it's okay. Well, I'll see you guys when we arrive. Alright, finally here. Woo! What a drive. All right, so, uh, shit, this off. Okay, so we got 27.1 at the end of the trip. That was the most regular drive. I mean, that was plain real world testing right there for miles per gallon. I mean, I did the, I drove like I would have, you know, any day. Um, and we had traffic and everything. I mean, I think I think it was a good example. So 27.1 is not bad. I mean, for a V8 muscle car or pony car, or sports car, whatever, a V8, um, that's actually not bad. 27.1 freeway, highway, and not only that, um, we also had heavy traffic when I was downtown in the tunnels. That's why I was able to be in lower gear and uh, shift. So, and now we're here, waiting for Haley to pick me up, because my car cannot go over the speed bumps. Because my car is too low for the speed bumps, because they decided, they said, anybody who lives here needs an SUV. They can't have a car, so we're gonna put giant bumps so nobody can ever, ever get to their house unless they have an SUV or walk from the entrance. So whatever, she's picking me up. Oh yeah, pretty good, pretty good testing, you know. Um, let me go. Let me know what you guys think, you know, uh, in the comments. And um, last time I was getting better gas mileage, uh, but you know, I really am curious to see what this car is going to do once um, you know I have a tune and all the performance stuff done on a, on the highway mileage or just mileage in general when I actually drive normally and I don't you know drive like crazy because I have the you know performance adders right. So, if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the page. You know, any type of support is is always helpful. Um, and um, and share it if you can. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope this helps somebody. Leave some comments. You know, I'll respond. So, uh, see you maybe in the next few days here. Uh, while I'm up here in Chicago, there will be some car events or something. Or something cool that I can show everybody. Then I'll, I'll record it and I'll, I'll put it on the channel. So, um... I am exhausted. You guys, have a good one.